Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a CAD designer, architect, or engineer, you know how crucial it is to have the right tools. But let me ask you, how many times have you struggled with a mouse that just doesn't keep up? You're zooming into a 3D model, tweaking vertices, or aligning components, and suddenly lag kicks in, or your hand cramps after hours of work. Sound familiar? Today, we're counting down the top seven mice for CAD design in 2025. I've tested these myself, pros, cons, hidden quirks, and ranked them based on precision, comfort, and reliability. Whether you're rendering skyscrapers or prototyping gadgets, the right mouse can save you hours of frustration. Let's dive in. 7. Nulea M501 Wireless Ergonomic Mouse The Nulea M501 positions itself as an affordable ergonomic solution for CAD users, but its execution leaves much to be desired. Let's start with the positives. The vertical design is undeniably comfortable for those transitioning from a traditional mouse to an ergonomic grip. During testing, my hand rested in a natural handshake position, reducing forearm strain during long solid work sessions. The six programmable buttons are easy to map. I assigned the thumb button to escape for quick command cancellation, which worked reliably in AutoCAD. The textured rubber sides also provide a secure grip even during sweaty, high-focus moments. However, the wireless performance is a glaring weakness. While Nulea advertises a 2.4 GHz connection with 10 meters range, I experienced frequent dropouts when working just three feet away from the receiver. In one instance, while fine-tuning a mechanical assembly, the cursor froze mid-zoom, forcing me to replug the USB dongle, a frustrating interruption. The sensor itself feels dated, the 1600 DPI optical sensor lacks the precision needed for intricate tasks like aligning vertices in Blender. Even at max sensitivity, movements felt sluggish compared to higher-end mice. Build quality is another letdown. The plastic shell creaks under pressure, and the primary clicks have a mushy, unsatisfying feel. The scroll wheel's rubber coating started peeling after just two weeks of moderate use and its lack of tilt functionality limits navigation in multi-panel CAD interfaces. Battery life is average at best, Nula claims 30 days, but with daily eight hour use, I had to recharge every 10 days. Mum 6, Razer Death Adder Elite. The Razer Death Adder Elite is a gaming mouse that's often shoehorned into CAD workflows, and while it has strengths, it's a mismatch for precision design. Let's begin with its best feature the 16,000 DPI optical sensor. It's lightning fast, ideal for flicking across dual monitors or spinning 3D models in SketchUp. The ergonomic shape suits palm grippers, and the rubberized side grips kept my hand anchored during rapid movements. Razer's mechanical switches are satisfyingly tactile, and the 50 million click rating suggests longevity. But here's the catch. This mouse is not designed for CAD. The Razer Synapse software is bloated with gaming-centric features like RGB lighting profiles and hypershift modes, which add unnecessary complexity. Setting up a simple macro for Ctrl-Z required navigating through layers of menus, a hassle compared to Logitech's intuitive software. The glossy plastic finish on the sides looks sleek, but becomes slippery after an hour of use, forcing constant readjustments. Another critical flaw is accidental double-clicking. During a critical Revit project, the Death Adder registered a double click while I was selecting a single line, deleting an entire component by mistake. Razer's optical switches are supposed to prevent this, but after testing three units, all exhibited the same issue under rapid clicks. The braided cable, while durable, is stiff and drags awkwardly on desks, negating the Elite in its name. For gamers, the Death Adder Elite is a steal at $50 but CAD designers need precision and reliability, two areas where this mouse falters. The lack of wireless connectivity and macro depth further cements its place as a middle-of-the-pack option for casual users. 5. Utec Smart Venus Pro Wireless Mouse The Utec Smart Venus Pro is a macro powerhouse, but its bulky design and weight demand patience. Boasting 18 programmable buttons, this mouse is a dream for shortcut heavy workflows. I mapped the 12-button thumb grid to Fusion 360 commands like Extrude, Chamfer, and Save As, cutting my modeling time by 
The dual connectivity, 2.4 gigahertz wireless and Bluetooth is seamless. I switched between a Windows workstation and a MacBook Pro without repairing. Battery life impressed me too. Utec Smart claims 50 hours and I squeezed out 45 hours with RGB lighting off. However, the Venus Pro's size and weight, 150 grams, are polarizing. If you have small to medium hands, the thumb cluster feels like a stretch and the mouse's width forces your fingers into a flat, unnatural position. After three hours of use, my thumb joint ached from reaching for the top row of buttons. The software, while functional, is clunky. Profiles don't auto-sync to the mouse, so I had to manually load settings after switching devices, a tedious process during multi-platform work. The PixArt PMW325 sensor performs decently but struggles on glossy surfaces. During a detailed AutoCAD floor plan edit, the cursor jittered slightly on a glass desk pad, requiring a mat for stability. The scroll wheel is another letdown. It's loud, stiff, and lacks tilt functionality, making horizontal navigation in large spreadsheets a chore. Despite these flaws, the Venus Pro shines in niche scenarios. If you're a CAD user who relies on macros or works across multiple devices, its versatility justifies the $70 price. Just pair it with a gel wrist rest to mitigate fatigue. 4. Microsoft Surface Precision Mouse The Microsoft Surface Precision Mouse is a master class in minimalist design and seamless integration, but it's best suited for CAD users who prioritize aesthetics and simplicity. The matte aluminum scroll wheel is its crown jewel, silkily transitioning between precise notch scrolling and a hyper-fast free-spin mode. During testing in AutoCAD, this feature saved me countless clicks when navigating sprawling architectural plans. Pairing via Bluetooth with my Surface Laptop Studio was instantaneous, and the three-device switching, using the button beneath the mouse, worked flawlessly between a Windows workstation, iPad, and Linux machine. Build quality is premium, with a magnesium alloy shell that feels sturdy yet lightweight. The rubberized thumb grip adds subtle comfort though its narrow design left my thumb hovering awkwardly during extended use. While the three programmable buttons are handy, I map the middle button to isolate layer in Revit. They pale in comparison to the macro-heavy competitors. The Microsoft mouse and keyboard center software is straightforward but bare bones. You can't create app-specific profiles or multi-command macros, which limits its utility for complex workflows. Battery life is another highlight. Microsoft claims up to three months on a single charge, and in real-world testing, eight hours daily, I hit nearly 10 weeks before needing the USB-C cable. However, the lack of a USB-C dongle is a missed opportunity. Relying solely on Bluetooth can introduce latency in crowded wireless environments. During a busy office day with multiple devices nearby, I noticed slight cursor lag while editing a high-poly 3D model in Blender. 3. Logitech MX Ergo Wireless Trackball The Logitech MX Ergo isn't just a mouse, it's an ergonomic revolution for CAD designers battling wrist fatigue. The trackball design eliminates traditional arm movement, letting you control the cursor entirely with your thumb. At first, it felt alien, like trying to write with my non-dominant hand, but after a week, my productivity in SolidWorks skyrocketed. The 38mm stainless steel ball glides effortlessly, and the precision mode, activated by a button, drops the DPI to 512 for pixel-perfect adjustments. I use this to align screw threads in a mechanical assembly without zooming in, a game-changer for detail work. The adjustable hinge is genius. Tilted at 20 degrees, it positions your hand in a natural handshake angle, reducing ulnar deviation. After a 12-hour session, my wrist felt fresher than it ever had with a traditional mouse. Logitech's unifying receiver and Bluetooth support ensure rock-solid connectivity, and the MX Ergo remembered all three paired devices without a hiccup. The Logi Options Plus software is intuitive, letting me assign shortcuts like Control-S to the forward button and create Fusion 360-specific profiles. But the trackball isn't for everyone. The learning curve is steep. Simple tasks like panning across a timeline took 30% longer initially. The scroll wheel, while accurate, is stiff and loud compared to Logitech's MX Master Series. Cleaning the trackball is also a chore. Dust buildup slowed movement after two weeks, requiring a weekly Q-tip scrub. 
Battery life is solid, four months on a full charge, but the micro USB port feels outdated in a USB-C world. Two, Logitech MX Master 2S. The Logitech MX Master 2S remains a CAD icon for its near-perfect blend of comfort, customization, and reliability. Its contoured shape molds to your hand like a glove, with a thumb rest, so plush it feels like memory foam. The standout feature is the dual scroll wheels. The primary wheel's auto shift between ratcheted and free spin modes is buttery smooth, while the thumb wheel handles horizontal scrolling in sprawling Excel timelines or CAD viewports. I mapped the thumb wheel to zoom extents in AutoCAD, streamlining my workflow dramatically. Logitech's dark field sensor is witchcraft. It tracked flawlessly on glass, glossy wood, and even my jeans during a couch design session. The 4000 DPI sensor isn't the highest on paper, but its accuracy for CAD is unmatched. During a precision task like aligning electrical circuits in Eagle CAD, the cursor stayed pixel perfect. The seven programmable buttons are a treasure trove. Using Logi Options Plus, I set the thumb button to toggle between orbit and pan in Fusion 360, saving me countless trips to the toolbar. Battery life is stellar. Logitech's 70-day claim held up. I charged it twice in four months of daily use. The USB-A unifying receiver is reliable, though its lack of USB-C feels archaic in 2024. Another gripe, the rubberized coating on the thumb rest began peeling after 18 months of heavy use, a durability flaw Logitech fixed in later models. Number 1. Logitech G64 Lightspeed The Logitech G604 Lightspeed isn't just the best mouse for CAD design, it's a productivity powerhouse engineered for precision, speed, and marathon work sessions. Let's break down why it claims our top spot. Starting with the hardware, the G604's 15 programmable buttons are a CAD designer's dream. The six thumb buttons are arranged in a hexagonal grid that's intuitive, not overwhelming. During testing in Fusion 360, I mapped these to commands like extrude, shell, and measure, slashing repetitive toolbar clicks. The two top buttons behind the scroll wheel became undo and redo, while the DPI shift button doubled as a quick save macro. Logitech's G-Hub software makes customization a breeze. You can create app-specific profiles, e.g. AutoCAD versus Blender, and even layer commands. Hold a button to switch between shortcut sets. The dual-mode scroll wheel is another standout. In notched mode, it delivers tactile feedback for precise zooming into circuit board layouts or adjusting timeline frames. Flick it into free spin mode, and it becomes a hyper-fast navigator for scrolling through thousand-line spreadsheets or sprawling 3D model hierarchies. The mechanical switches are crisp and satisfying with a 50 million click lifespan that shrugs off heavy use. I hammered through a week of 10-hour days designing a multi-story building in Revit, and the G604's responsiveness never wavered. Logitech's Lightspeed wireless tech is the backbone of this mouse's reliability. Unlike the Nulea M501 or even the MX Master 2S, the G604 delivered zero latency during high-stakes tasks. I tested it in a crowded office with 20-plus Bluetooth devices nearby, and the cursor remained buttery smooth while editing a high-polygon model in ZBrush. The inclusion of both Bluetooth and a Lightspeed USB receiver is genius. I used Bluetooth for casual browsing and switched to the dongle for lag-free CAD work. So there you have it the seven best mice for CAD design in 2025. Whether you're a freelancer, student, or studio pro, investing in the right mouse can transform your efficiency and save your sanity. Drop a comment below. Which mouse are you using right now? Or did we miss your favorite? Let's chat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into tech tools. Thanks for watching and keep creating amazing things.